Hi, I'm Dee at Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. Today, I'm at the Apollo Saturn V Center, standing in front of the trainer for the lunar module. The cockpit is where the astronauts would live while they were working on the moon. Two astronauts had to fit in that little space. The lunar module was attached to the command module, and then it would detach to land on the moon. The astronauts would get out, do all of their work, get back into the lunar module, take off, rendezvous and dock with the command module, and then come back home to Earth. Because our goal was not just to put people on the moon, but also to bring them safely back. As you've probably heard, NASA has recently awarded the contract for the Lunar Lander for the Artemis program. Several different companies are going to be working on designs because although the original lunar module worked great, that was 1960s and 1970s technology. And we've grown so much since then, we want to use the absolute best technology that we have now when we send the next man and the first woman ever to walk on the moon. Technology is constantly advancing and we don't think Artemis will be our last moon program. So as you grow and technology grows with you, we're going to be asking the next generation to submit even more design ideas. So what we're going to do today is allow you to design and build your own lunar lander. The great thing about landing on the moon is the gravity is only one sixth of Earth gravity. So you have a much softer landing. The problem is there's no atmosphere. So you can't use parachutes the way we would use them on Earth. Our lunar modules for the Apollo program use retro rockets. Those are rockets that shoot out the bottom to help you land. Maybe you've seen one of the SpaceX booster landings that uses the same principle. What are you going to design for your lunar lander? Now, my lunar lander that I've already built here uses just a few common household objects. You can use the same ones or come up with ones of your own. I used a few paper bowls just because I like the way they fit together because I have to be able to put my astronauts inside and when I land, I don't want my astronauts to fall out. I also have some legs on this one that I made with bendy straws. So you might have some straws at home, whether they're straight or bendy. Or maybe instead of using legs, you want something that will cushion your landing a little bit more, like some foam or some balloons. The sky's the limit, try whatever you need to. If you don't have plastic bowls, you might use a planter or plastic cup. Anything you do, the important thing is that your astronauts need to be able to get in and out of it, and when it lands, they need to stay in it. You don't want your astronauts bouncing out all over the place, so you have to fasten it shut. For this one, I used some holes and some pieces of shoelace, but you could also use something like a rubber band to hold it shut. You could clip it shut with paper clips or clothes pins, whatever you decide. Remember though, the lighter weight it is, the more efficient it will be and the cheaper it will probably be to send into space. So once you've built your lander, you want to get some objects to represent your two astronauts. I've got ping pong balls, and I'm going to put them in my lander, and then I'm going to shut my lander so they don't fall out. And I'm going to test this by dropping it from a height. Now I'm going to just come around to the side here. Let me get this stuff out of the way. And I'm going to drop this from a height onto the surface. The goal is that it lands right side up and the astronauts don't fall out. Let's see how I do. Wow, that was a really great success. Sometimes I have it flip over, sometimes it pops open, but I only dropped it from about one meter. If I really want to keep this experiment going, I'm going to get higher and higher and higher. Maybe I'll drop it on the floor. Oh, that time it fell over on its side but the astronauts still stayed in it, so I'm gonna count that mission a partial success. Let's see how well you can do. Build your lander, take some pictures of it, maybe some videos, and post in the comments to let us know your design. This is Dee from Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex, reminding you to have a great day, use your creativity in any way you can, and keep looking up.